Hello guys, as you can see I'm wearing my Sega Mega Drive top. Um, it's got nothing to do with this video, but I just thought I'd put it on on this Sunday afternoon. And if I can get my leg up enough. My Pac-Man socks, both what my girlfriend bought me. So yeah. Guys, hello guys. Um, I went to the car boot sale last week and I bought a lot of the computers. And this is one of them. Oh yeah, just have a point. Yeah, lovely. Right, like I was saying, I bought this computer car boot sale. Let's give you a closer look. As you can see, only two pound. It's a bit grubby, but there's missing a drive at the top, I believe that could have been a DVD drive because it says on the sticker DVD it's a Packard Bell it's got a 3DFX sticker on there so unfortunately that the um, 3DFX card is no longer present um, it, but it has got a graphics card in it, it's got an NVIDIA Pro 32 for just two pound I've got all this. Right, there's there's a graphics card. Sorry. Graphics card down there. It's got slot one Athlon processor. It's a network card, which I added myself. It's got a hard drive. It had nothing on it, but I installed Win Windows ME for now. I don't know what you're gonna say, Windows ME. But yeah, it's got some RAM, and yep, so the whole thing was just £2, so I couldn't resist being retro. So I'm just gonna. It's the whole thing tower, motherboard, processor, RAM, hard drive, CD reader, floppy drive, all for £2, you can't go wrong. So let's pair it up and see what happens. Right, I've got the PC set up now, the um, two pound one, um, the old pack of that, I have put, um, I've connected it up to the internet as well, so we'll see what happens with that, so the better for the turn it on. I know for a fact it works, because I've previously powered this up, uh, let's go to BIOS. I don't think it will let me go into BIOS because I've got a USB keyboard plugged in and obviously it's probably PS2. Probably hasn't got USB legacy enabled. Oh, let's forget BIOS for now. So here's Windows ME starting up. I'll probably change it to Windows 98 Special Edition or even Windows 2000. With our Windows ME startup sound. As you can see, it's a fully functioning computer. Um, obviously, the monitor's mine, I did, the monitor didn't come with it. If you're wondering where the other speaker's hiding, it's just right here. It's just you can't see it in the shot. Have a beer. Now, at the moment, I've got an MP3 disc in there. Oh. Um, And I was surprised to see that the MP3s were on this child hardware. And we all remember this version of Windows Media Player, don't we? I think that went perfectly fine. MP3s amazingly. Um, I'll tell you the specs of the computer now if I can find out. Easy enough. We've got 
on it says it's an AMD K7 I believe it's 600 megahertz 128 megabytes of RAM but the is that all <laughs> um, yeah disk drives oh what we got the network adapter is a D-Link DFE 500TX PCI The um, graphics is a GeForce 2 Pro 32 megabyte. Yeah, so yeah, it's basically a working machine. Uh, what else we're looking at? Yeah, I'll we'll just call that that. The hard drive is a 10, 10 10.8 gigabyte IDE. I should zoom in a bit, maybe you can see a bit more there. Okay. So yeah, that's basically the computer. I'll put Quake 1 on here to show you how, what it runs. It is Quake 95, I know it's Windows only, but... As you can see. As you can see, it makes an excellent Quake machine. We're running at 640 by 480. Zoom out a bit. Oh, my cat's meowing at me. It's alright, he's probably thinking who I'm talking to. So, as you can see, it makes a brilliant Quake 1 machine. That's all this. There's some stuttering sometimes, probably because of a little man. So as you can see, that's quite cool. It does kind of work on the internet. It gets all messed up because of the odd versions of the browsers. As you can see. But if I try, if that won't work because Windows ME will not accept Win not Internet Explorer 8. I mean, I can try Google. It does come up. Images. Um, Windows. Um, so it does kind of work. We've got no chance with like more sophisticated sites like um, YouTube and stuff. Absolutely no chance. Well, Wikipedia works great. As you can see. All this for two pounds. It does crash, it does seem to halt a lot though, it's probably because of the um, yeah, no, no, no. We, we all remember that Windows ME was pretty unstable at the best of times. I think it's crashed. No, it's, it's, it's waking up. Find off. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is probably a silly idea because the lack of RAM in it. I'm going to upgrade the RAM if it can support it anymore. But I'm going to try installing a, hard, a quite hard to run game for this particular machine. Return to Castle Morphinstein, this is a bad idea. It probably won't work one at all. But I'm just going to do it anyway for a laugh. With a point. CD key, I'm not sure what CD key is. Oh, that's fine, I'm just watching it. Ah! One sec. I'll go and find the CD key.
I've got the manual, I'll just get you the CDT types in there. Obviously, I'm going to have to point the camera down a bit while I type it in. Sorry about that. Right, this is the super the installation. I used to love this music when it was installed in back in the day, when I used to have the game myself. Great. Right. Well I did, but it doesn't seem to like it on this machine. Seems to have an issue with trying to play the moves you can install in the game at the same time. And if it can't even do this bit, it's not going to have, do very far in the game, is it? I'll just quickly grab my own smart device. I want to have a look to see if um, see what the system requirements are for this game. It's breaking up like anything. Oh, it might just work actually. If you have a look. Pentium 2 400 megahertz processor or Athlon 128 megabytes of RAM It's a graphics card Yeah, so it might just work This is a bit higher than that The RAM's the same but Yeah, the music's choppy on it. Why? Because of the odd ID buzz or something. So just turn that down. It's really choppy and not going quite as you would like to hope. As you can see, it's installing it. I might be going to, um, well I will be going to Wolverhampton's um, Retro Revival this year. If anyone else is going, I'll see you there. Uh, yeah. If you're going, I'll see you there. Look out for me. I've got to go to something like that because it's very close to where I live and you can't, it's just law, really. There's a long wait waiting for the um, games to install. This too. If I can just grab this too wherever I pull it. Yeah, a lot because it's back in the CD ROM days, a lot of this swapping about in there.
Don't forget people, drinking's bad for your health. Earlier I watched a football match, um, Liverpool against um, Liverpool against Newcastle. But they didn't win the um, trophy because the cup whatever because uh, Man City won in the other day. It was the finals. Last game of the season. That's a big head. I'm not very, I won't do a very good job of pulling points in the bar, would I? I'm just going to jump cut this now. Right, that's a jump to cut done. So yep, I've got the game installed. I don't know if it's going to run, so your guess is as good as mine. I know if I'm fat, the multiplayer probably won't work because the better servers are all shut down. So let's try it out. Good start. It should run in theory. It's still very crackly. But yeah, the movies come on amazingly. Not bad for two pounds. I think that crackling might be helped if we up the memory to 256 megabytes or even better 512. turn down a bit. Wolfenstein immediately. Notify Herr Himmler. We found him. Very crackly, but watchable still. Right. So, easy game. Let's have a look at the um, graphics options. Quality, high quality is recommended apparently. Right, let's 
give it a whirl. Fired up the game there. We'll see what happens with a point in a ball. <laughs> Loading up the game. Might seem slow to you, but this is how computers was back then. And we didn't really take much notes. This one's got design for Microsoft Windows 98 sticker on it. Like I said, it's very crackly. Let's just skip this bit, it's too crackly, it's too. Too unwatchable. I'm a bit worried that the game might be pretty crackling there. We'll see. I'm wondering if that crackling's got anything to do with Windows at me. If anyone can shed a light on why it's crackling a lot, let me know because I know that I know it's an old machine, but even the older ones can handle it a bit better than this. It crackles in Windows as well when Windows first boots. It's like the IDE activity makes it crackle. I've got an 80 pin cable on primary channel. Maybe it's on an, uh, the wrong mode in BIOS, like the PIO mode or something. I don't know. I haven't looked. Yeah, it's loud in the main game now. That old 10 to 15 year old hard drive whirling away. Oh, come on in a minute. Here we go. There's a lot of crackling in the audio. The actual game seems alright. Shame about the crackling. You can definitely benefit with some more RAM, you can tell. But yeah, it's working. All that slow down and lag is to do with the memory, I can tell. Not the graphics card. I'll have to put some more memory in and do another video in the future. Oh, 
comment of Anna. That's better. Have some of that. It's not a bad looking game for such an old game and an old system. So I think PlayStation 2 can better than PlayStation 2 probably. I've set off the alarms now. gaming machine for two pounds you, you can't really complain. I'm just bumping that memory up a little bit. I think it'll make a vast amount of difference. I'm really pleased with this boy. And I'm dead. So I'm going to quit out the game. I'm just curious, curious before we go. You'd have to wait for a while for it to get back into Windows because it will be and um, it sounds like it's been using all the um, virtual memory. Well, I am curious to know if this multiplayer works on it. If it can find any servers. No way, not in 2014 surely. Not official ones anyway. The whole video, Windows ME hasn't crashed, so that's pretty um, impressive. We all know Windows ME's reputation for crashing. Should come on in a minute. servers the connection type hmm. zero surface I thought it might be you can probably get patches and stuff to sort that out but that's if any of the servers run I mean this is version 1.4 So yeah, that's not going to work I mean I can create my own but it won't be on the internet I can create my own LAN server I've got, I haven't got it connected to any other computer though Well I have because it's in the um, home network but no one else is running the game at the moment. So I'll just be in, in there on the top. On my own if you don't if you don't know what that means. The computer is useful for playing on older games, doing using an old version of Microsoft Office, whatever. The computer is not useful for internet and things like that. Because it's just too old. HTML has changed a lot since this computer and this operating system. You could be brave and try and put Windows XP on it. Which it probably would, wouldn't it? Actually, just would then definitely benefit with a lot more memory there. 
Windows 7, I have heard stories about it running on 256 megabytes of RAM before, but it's probably definitely not recommended. Linux, yeah, it would probably run Linux great, depending on which one you use. So yeah, it's definitely useful for some things. I think it's a bit worth a bit more than two pounds as well, to be honest, with all the stuff that's in it. I mean, if you want to play like older PC games, then yeah, it's perfect. We run any the old classics like this, Medal of Honor, and like the sort black and white. Things like that. It should run any of them quite well with what it's got in it. So I'm just going to finish this video by wrapping up by saying thanks for watching. Just going to see what it does when we go into this server that I've created. Local server. I wonder if there would be a way of making a permanent server like having this computer running in my house somewhere and it's just like a server for all the games I mean my own so there's no point in even doing anything really <coughs> Where are you going? Come back. I'm all alone. Alone and scared, baby. Are you coming back up? Goodbye.